Welcome back to the next part of Elden Ring. My name is Sardushin here at For Pete's Sake Gaming. Uh, definitely like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell, check out the Patreon, become a, a part of the team at For Pete's Sake Gaming, as well as check out the complete Snow Witch Queen build walkthrough from beginning to end, as well as our uh, co-host Silence doing our pirate build. So we're going to go back we were trying to find that cave that's over there so we're gonna continue on from where we left off so let's uh, let's continue on So where is this? Okay, there we go. Somewhere around here is the cave, it should say. Unless it's up like this. Up. Should be there shortly. There it is, right here. Just like always, take the left path. There's nothing, no, nobody here. So, Altus Tunnel. Okay, so now that we've brought that back in, let's get this grease and continue on. So. Shards, but should work. Okay, so let's continue on. Okay, so let's see what's here. We got our smithing stone fives and a rune arc, so always nice to have a couple of those. So, we got our crystal darts, which I still haven't figured out how to use. I don't know. The thing is, I it after so many attempts, you can basically command command them, but I've never been able to to do it. So, Oh, 
go. And our, get our sovereigns. Get that guy out of the way. Get that guy out of the way. I think there's... Where are you? Okay, so, like, let's grab all these smithing fives, not like we need them, but they're always nice to have. Sombering smithing fives. So let's continue. Okay. okay, so let's continue here. What is this way? Get our smithing zone fives. And we're gonna go into the other tunnel first. We're gonna heal that up. And let's see. Oops, I cracked crystal. Um, uh, down this tunnel. That's the one that I want. Whoops. Cracked crystal. To make crystal darts like we need crystal darts. Our golden moon seven. Uh, I don't like this one, but whatever. Up. And this is the reason why we killed that other thing in the first place. So we go up. Do that. Get the arsenal charm. Now we're in this area. Oh, where we were before, so let's go back down, grab what's down below. Oh, that was so close. Mm. Apparently nothing. Except for nothing. And we're gonna go... Now we're at the boss. Which we already know is a... 
couple of crystallines, because we all love crystallines. Go like that. Mimic tier. That. Go like that. And. You know how this works, right? And both the crystallines is done. Somber stone miner bell bar in two, which is your somber stones three and four. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just see what other ones do we need. So give me a second here.
So the bosses are two of those abductor virgins. So we're gonna. I have no idea how we're gonna do this, but we're gonna. We're gonna try. Yes, I, I don't know. I haven't figured it out, but we're going to do something, so let's try it. And we get the Inquisitor's Girondole. So if you remember, we fell down this way. That was... that was awesome. Um, so Inquisitor's Girondole. Again, Inquisitors. Uh, there it is. It's a faith and a strength and a dex weapon. Faith 16, strength 18, dex 15. Causes blood loss. Build up of 50. Instrument of torture used on nobles behind the curtain at the volcano manor of Mount Gelmer. Its numerous spikes pierce the flesh, then singe the wounds with flame. The smell of burnt blood induces despair in the victim, a candlestick conceived by a thorough mind. Charge forth, quickly charge forth with the arm at the hip, carrying the momentum into a thrust hold to cover greater distance. That seems awesome. And... Let's see here. Touch this grace. And you can see on this side is Mount Gelmir yet again. So as you can see, we've already hit Mount Gelmir. Um, we haven't done Volcano Cave, I believe. So we're gonna go and do Volcano Cave next because I believe we haven't, but we'll figure that. Nope, so let's, do we, oh yeah, we could probably do it. So give me a second, like always. Let's continue now. So, 
So there we go. So get the cave moss. Golden Rune 6, which you see that for there, so we're not going to go down there quite yet. Uh, and yes, we can kill some of these people from up here. And let's see the. Whoa! Oh crap. I totally forgot that guy was there, so we're gonna keep that up just in case. There's the boss. We didn't go very far, but so we're doing pretty good. So let's before we go to the boss, let's check the other tunnel. And it's this way, and there was another tunnel that we could have went down, which is this way, which leads us basically above everything. shield which I'll show you in a second. Uh, we're in the spike club which is basically what it says a spiked club. Here's the coil shield. Strength 10 causes poison buildup. Armament designed for gladiatorial combat rises above its peers as, as a per particularly showy specimen. The sculpted bronze snake is a poisonous breed boosting the wielder's resistance to poison. The Viper Bite gives the shield a quick shake to temporarily bring the bronze viper to life, citing it to lash out and bite foes. So, actually, let's just see that one in action just a second. So, you see it, looks nice, and then... There's the Viper Bite. Which is, which is a neat little thing, so... On that note, we're going to go back this way. We went into that tunnel, go down, nothing else here. We're at 25 minutes. Uh, where's the boss? Which is through here. 
the demi human queen. Trust me, she's gonna die. We're gonna go like that. We're gonna bring out our mimic tier because why not? Mimic tier. Demi Human Queen Margaret is gone. Which we get the Jar Cannon. Which, let's see that, which is a ranged weapon. The Jar Cannon. Strength 34, Dex 12. Jar Cannon, which uses explosives to fire great bolts, deals great damage but is slow to reload. Uh, experimental firearm brought to the salt on Volcano Manor, where it was discovered that no one knew how to use it and you do a kick so that one's done we are going to let's see we have so much that we've done already uh, where are we at we want to go up here we're gonna go back to the entrance, go back, we're gonna fight something on the top of a cliff really quickly. Way. Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. Rest and jump up. Rest. We're gonna go up with your horse. Of course. And look where we are. Crying out not loud. And the full-grown Falling Star Beast is dead. And we got the Falling Star Beast Jaw, so let's look at that. Strength 34, Dex 12, Int 20. Part of a falling star beast jaw, hard and shining black, fashioned into a weapon with its sharp point, and this colossal weapon can scare fears and its gravity bolt, just like it sh uh, was doing. So yeah, that one's that one's done. We've taken care of everything in Mount Gelmir. We've 
I believe we've taken care of everything in Mount Calamari. I think we've done over here already. Um, where are we at? 30 minutes. We'll check that next time. But we got all the graces in Mount Gelmir, so... I'm your host, Sardushin. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, as well as comment. Uh, and... You know it. We'll see you in the next one.